Who are the most versatile players in the NFL? My guy Mike Renner here wrote it up over at profootballfocus.com, so let's get into it. Starting on the offensive side of the ball, Mike, when you think of versatile, you have to think of what the New Orleans Saints did with Taysom Hill, the second-year quarterback who's like 40 years old, <laughs> plays special teams, was a quarterback. They use him as H as an H-back, a wide receiver. I, I, the NFL's really never seen much like Yeah, this. I think he's the first quarterback slash tight end kick returner that I've ever seen in NFL history. He took 58 snaps at QB this past year, 58 snaps as an inline tight end, 12 snaps at running back, 21 from the slot, 33 out wide. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Sean Payton finds a role from him on defense next season. But also core four special teamer. So he does it all for the Saints. Basically, you have to account for him every time he's on the field if you're an opposing defense. Normally, I would hate doing anything that takes the ball out of Drew Brees' hands if you have a top three quarterback in the NFL. But the Saints actually made this work. And I think that's the, the biggest testament to Hill and his versatility that with Brees at quarterback, it was still a successful, you know, you know, versatile components to that offense. Um, the next player, Christian McCaffrey of the Carolina Panthers. I made the point a couple years ago when he came out, if he was just a slot receiver, I think he's like a second round pick, yeah. but he's a running back who can catch the ball out of the backfield, who can run the ball in all schemes and line up wide as a wide receiver. I think he started to show that this year. Yeah, took over 100 snaps at the wide receiver position this past year, had 17 more catches than any other running back in the NFL. His skill set really is the where the NFL is going at the running back position. If you are running back in the NFL that can't go out wide and force a mismatch, uh, you just don't have the value of a guy who does, like Christian McCaffrey. Also has played the second most snaps we've ever seen from a running back. He basically just didn't come off the field there for Carolina. Yeah, not what you envision as a as an every down mm -hmm. running back, but that's exactly what Christian McCaffrey was. The next player to highlight, Gerald Everett of the Los Angeles Rams, one of my favorite players coming out of the draft a couple years ago as well because of that versatility, because of his size, and he led the nation at South Alabama with the most forced missed tackles a couple years ago. You start to see a little bit of that uh, in space at the next level. Yeah, he's kind of a tweener because he's listed at 6'3", 240, doesn't look like a tight end. If you wanted to put him in line and have him block defensive ends, he's just not going to be able to do that. But if you put him out wide, he's a little bigger than most wide receivers. So he's really that hybrid player, and they utilized him as such. He took 261 snaps as an inline tight end this year, 55 from the slot, 126 out wide and even 16 in the backfield and took a couple handoffs this year and end around so he can do it all for them broke six tackles on 35 catches this year he is a very versatile weapon and the last offensive player to highlight probably the most dangerous in the NFL as far as big playability goes it's Tyree Kill of the Kansas City Chiefs Mike I don't think there's a scarier formation for defenses than when Tyree Kill is the inside guy on trips because yeah. you just can't match up with him and he's gone from kind of a gimmicky player he's got versatility to just a very good overall wide receiver yeah I talked about how the flex position the all-pro basically defines Tyree Kill he can do anything you want to from him offensively is just a weapon with the ball in his hand the sort of the new age space player when he goes in motion, it just everyone on the defense starts to panic because he can do a lot of things, whether it's end arounds, he averaged 8.1 yards per carry this season. When he took end arounds, averaged 16.6 yards per catch. When he got you know, catches down the field, he is just a weapon no matter where you want to deploy him. Yeah, Tyree Kill makes fast NFL players look slow. That's the, the most dangerous receiver in the NFL right now. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball. The first guy you highlighted was Trey Flowers of the New England Patriots, and his versatility is really that ability to play you know, every single position essentially yes. on the defensive line. He's an edge defender by name, but the Patriots tap into that versatility. Yeah, he basically took every single lineman you possibly could along the defensive line and executed at a high level. And that's a testament to just basically who he is, you know, 6'6", long arms, and has the size to play anywhere along that defensive front. Took 43 snaps over the center this off this past season, 133 over guards, 63 over tackles, and then 479 out wide. So anywhere you want to deploy him, he can go to town. One of the more fascinating players in the NFL is Lorenzo Alexander of the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. You just don't see players who are true like hybrid edge players and linebackers. They're really completely different skill sets, but Alexander has found a way to, to add both and, and add that value to the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, there's only a handful of them in the entire NFL at the moment that are playing the true you know, off-ball slash edge role that he did there. 
but none did it as well as Alexander did. 82.4 run defense grade this past season, 70.7 pass rushing grade, and then 79.9 coverage grade. He's basically played offense and defense in his time in the NFL, played defensive tackle, off-ball linebacker, played some tight end also on a practice squad before. He's done it all and been very good at it this late in his career, almost 36 years old now. Yeah, one of the more unique players that the NFL has seen over the last few years. And then finally, we're going to lump both of these guys together. I think the future of the safety position, and this might be you know a little rough for, for safeties coming out because these guys have such a unique skill set. It's Jamal Adams of the New York Jets, Derwin James of the Los Angeles Chargers. I, re I did a full video on both of these guys on the YouTube channel that you guys can search. But I think if you are making the prototype NFL safety, Right now, it's these guys because they can do absolutely anything you ask of a safety and they bring so much versatility to the defense. Yeah, it's so important to not have to substitute, not have to completely change your personnel when the offense changes formations or changes to from one tight end to two tight ends or vice versa, that sort of thing. These guys offer you that flexibility as a defensive coordinator. They can line up as an edge rusher, they can line up as a linebacker, slot corner, wide corner, and still do it at an extremely high level. They were our second, Jamal Adams was the second highest graded safety this past season. Derwin James, our fifth, playing in these just incredibly versatile roles where they're lined up anywhere the defense coordinator asks them to on any given play and balling out, basically. And to add to that, they could play short zone, they could play deep zone as free mm -hmm. safety, they can cover tight ends, and they were one and two in total stops, those tackles in and around the line of scrimmage. So Derwin James, Jamal Adams, the prototype NFL Safety, you guys can read the entire article over at ProFootballFocus.com. It's your most versatile players in the National Football League.